This comes right here from Dash for Cash. He goes, Pete, Dash for Cash here, but you probably already knew that. What is it with everybody taking these taglines here? I really put up a good fight tonight and grabbed what looked like a moneymaker. Possible hidden tip. Hey! But as you can see from my screenshot, my bubble was burst over. <laughs> my bubble was burst over and over. 12 orders in five hours and six with a big zero tip. <clears throat> I did the math and my pay divided by 12 is $5.66 per, uh, per, per delivery. Not to mention the 66.9 miles I drove. So deduct my gas money and I'm asking myself, why haven't I moved on to greener pastures? Like your loyalty to Grubhub being your bread and butter, mine has always been DoorDash. <laughs> but at this rate, Bread and butter may be all I'll be eating if I don't keep thinking things will get better on my go-to platform. I took your advice, thank God, and have three other gigs to try out and see where they take me. As always, thanks for the advice. Stay safe, keep up the good work from Dash for Cash. So, first off, I'm glad you took the recommendation of jumping on other apps. You have to diversify, guys. I, I know I'm like a broken record. I repeat myself all the time. You know, I get it. Um, but with that being said, it's a tough time right now, guys, you know, ever since, uh, you know, the summer started, uh, really it wasn't ever since May, to be honest, May, June of 2021 of this year, uh, or depending on whenever you're watching this, I don't know whenever you're watching this in the future, but, um, things have just gotten slower and slower and slower. And usually once the fall hits, the winter is when, the orders go through the roof. You know what I mean? People are home. It's colder out in certain states, you know? Uh, they're ordering more, you know, people are lazier. They just want to stay inside, you know? But the pandemic threw a wrench into everything, like I've said a bunch of times in previous videos. And, and that's just the way it is, guys. You know, the fact of the matter is this. It's a weird time in the world. It's a weird time in the United States. Of course, all the, the stuff going on with the economy, uh, unemployment ending, people scrambling to get jobs and stuff like that. The, the shortages going on that we've been experiencing for a while now, you know, there's just so many factors that play into the tipping issues, the, the order volume issues, the oversaturation of drivers. You know, there have been other creators, there have been people uh, in the comments section and on social media that said, guys, with the unemployment running out in a lot of states, you just get prepared for an influx of people coming to the uh, coming to the gig economy. Also, because of the vaccine mandates, people that didn't want to get the vaccine that that had to leave their jobs or got fired or whatever are joining the gig economy. Some of them, you know what I mean. So, the fact is, it almost just seems like at this point there's too many drivers and not enough orders. And on top of that, there's too many drivers and not enough good paying offers. So all these lowball offers are getting you know are, are going by the wayside. But here's the thing. Like I said, always reject the low ball offers. Always reject those $3 orders, those $4 orders. However, if you are in a desperate, desperate situation, if an order comes in for $4 going one mile, technically you're getting like $2 per mile on that. Oh, with well over a dollar. You know what I mean? So uh, I know Pedro, DoorDash Santiago, if he gets a, an order for five bucks going two miles or a mile, he'll, he says, I'll take those all day. You know what I mean? So again, in desperate times, you know, like they say, desperate times call for desperate measures. That is a very true statement. I'm not saying uh, Pete from Pay to Drive says go take low ball offers. But if you're not getting anything and this is your full time job right now or, or it's a part time job or whatever, and you need this money, which I'm sure most of us all do. We're not doing it for fun. You know, you have to find ways that make it work, you know, to adapt to what's happening in the now. OK, it won't be like this forever. Things will change. Things will get better over time. But right now it's a slump, you know, and and right here, Dash for Cash uh, absolutely illustrated that pretty beautifully in there. And I do hope it gets better for you, too, man. I really do. And, and all of you out there. Uh, let's see here. This comes from Craig and he says, I'm a new driver with a simple question. So everybody listen up. Let's see if we can help Craig out. He says, hi, Pete. Love your informative videos. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm a fairly new driver as part-time gig work, uh, along with reselling. And I'm assuming maybe eBay or um, Craigslist, maybe Amazon. And uh, then my full-time day job. 
did you eventually start an LLC? And also, what accounting software do you recommend? Thinking QuickBooks since I resell as well, but any input from you will be helpful in my additional research. Thanks from Craig. Um, so two things, uh, maybe three things. You can, as you are an independent contractor, okay? You can work these apps uh, as yourself, you know, personally, or you can register an LLC through like, you know, through an accountant or like through LegalZoom or something like that. So, you know, it, it would go in your company's name as opposed to you, I guess, if you ever got sued or something like that. Um, I do know that there are drivers that have registered LLCs uh, and they sign up on the apps through their LLC. You get a tax ID instead of your social security number. That's another big thing. The taxes, I believe, are different. I am not super knowledgeable about that. I'm, I'm not a financial expert, so I don't want to dive too much in there and start guessing too many things. Um, but it is an option. I myself have not done that. Um, so Craig, what I would recommend is maybe check out some other uh, YouTubers in the gig community, uh, check out the Facebook groups, check out Reddit, just do general Google searches, you know, about like um, signing up for DoorDash with an LLC or signing up for Uber Eats with an LLC and see what comes up. Um, and as far as accounting, you can use QuickBooks, things like that. Um, you know, it's, it's really up to you, uh, how you want to use, uh, you know, how you want to you know, handle taxes and all that stuff. Um, I have a family accountant that I go through, um, and she's, she's fantastic. I've been using her for years. Uh, so whenever, you know, it comes down to tax time, I print out all my tax documents from everything that I, you know, that I have for income and I bring it to her and she just tells me what I owe or what I'm getting back from federal, from state and whatnot. And then, you know, we set everything up through there. Um, so I don't handle the, the taxes myself, but I do know that, uh, QuickBooks is, uh, is a good option, uh, for some. So I would, I, I would either stick with that or I would just, Again, just do some general Google searches or check in the in the Facebook groups or on Reddit and see what other people are using. <coughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, it's probably not the answers you're looking for necessarily. So also check the comments on this video as well, Craig, uh, after it's been up for like a day or two. So you can see, you know, if there's a few comments down there uh, with people's suggestions. So I'm, that's what I'm going to ask all the drivers and dashers. How do you handle taxes and whatnot? Uh, do you use... Um, QuickBooks, or do you go through an accountant? Do you use another piece of software? Uh, check it out down below and put your, your suggestions down there for uh, Craig. And, you know, uh, we could help a bunch of people out with that. So going over more of your feedback, uh, your comments from uh, videos that I posted, um, I, I gotta say, you guys are right on the money with these. Um, this one was from a video that was called, this is why DoorDash could be over sooner than we think based on this new information. Now, it was an article that was submitted from Budasan and it was talking about how although companies like DoorDash are making a lot of money, they're supposedly not turning a profit from quarter to quarter to quarter. Now, we've spoken about this from, uh, you know, other other different angles, other different sources and stuff, but it seems like everybody else has got an opinion about it. Uh, and also, DoorDash is claiming that dashers are their highest expense, which is why, you know, we're treated the way we are, you know? So this is what you guys had to say, and uh, I'm, I'm just curious if those of you watching now agree or disagree. So Agus said, I'm not surprised. DoorDash has been showing consistent losses the last three quarters. As I've said before, they are on the decline and will likely fail in the next three to four years. I mean, I mean, the recent pay cut and other issues show how desperate they are. Now, do you guys agree or disagree with Agus? Let me know down below. Uh, and, and again, this is from another source more than likely. Uh, Boss Move says, if they're not turning a profit, it's their own damn fault. If a delivery calls for three dollars uh, for a three dollar delivery, or even a five dollar delivery, and the distance altogether is about ten to fifteen miles, I'm definitely not taking it. Boss moves, one hundred and ten percent. I agree with you. Do you guys agree or disagree with boss moves? Definitely. You always want to try and aim for at least minimum a dollar per mile. Just saying. AABB says DoorDash refuses to use the utmost common sense when it comes to business. I don't even give them two years before they have to hang it up. And all they'll give dashers is an email in the, the morning of saying they're no longer in business and good luck. Now, 
AABB, -A -A I think there is some truth to what you're saying here, but at the same time, uh, I, I give them a little more than two years. I would say probably more like three to five before they start having issues, unless they can fix things. Um, you know, but I, I do feel that they will send some sort of an email out to let dashers know what's going on at that point. Uh, Real Rhino X2 says, I can tell DoorDash how to make money and pay the drivers well. Stop giving everybody free deliveries to every restaurant in town. Charge every customer a proper fee for every delivery and have a minimum mandatory tip for the driver. This is a luxury service. Real Rhino, it is a luxury service. It's a premium service and people are treating it like it's not. The same damn thing happened to Uber, uh, to, not Uber, Uber. Uh, Uber was a premium, you know, riding service and now it's just like a taxi, you know, and it, a lot of people don't like that. Uh, DJ Stockton says, DoorDash is so stressful, that's why I prefer Uber Eats. Now, how do you guys feel? Do you prefer DoorDash? Do you prefer Uber, or, yeah, Uber Eats? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, weather and Earth 25, uh, using technology means the beginning of the robot apocalypse. Because in the article, they were saying that they need to keep, you know, working with uh, getting better technology and this, that, the other. And look, automation is coming, whether we want it or not, because people are always looking for convenience to, pa to pass the buck to somebody or something else to do the work for them, you know? So I hear you on that. Uh, Maria Moncada says the handwriting has been on the wall for a while, and I definitely think she has a point there. And uh, D says technology to reduce errors would probably involve some type of scanning and barcoding system. More work, more capital investment. It's very possible, D. I'm telling you that anything is possible with these div, uh, these delivery services. So, overall, what do you guys think? What do you guys feel about DoorDash? Do you think that they are actually turning a profit? Do you think that they're actually doing well, or do you think these reports are a bit skewed? Maybe they're not completely accurate. Let me know your thoughts down below in the chat or the comments because at this point, they're the biggest delivery company right now. So we're gonna have to see where that goes.